What's up, everybody? Welcome to CES. I'm Brian Tong. I'm Justine Zarek, and this is a very special CES this year. When you think about it, how many people are actually here with us? Well, we're talking about over 130,000 attendees, what, 4,000 plus exhibitors? It's wild, and there's over 1,200 startups, and this entire space is about 30 football fields. 30. This is the tech mecca, the only place you really want to be if you love this stuff. It's true, and we are here, and we're going to be giving you guys all of the things that you need to know. But most importantly, what are these tech trends this year? Mm, you know what? Well, since we're here, maybe we should tell you. I don't know. We'll All find right. out. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Okay, okay. This is day zero. As you can tell, there are a ton of boxes that are not unboxed, which actually I feel like. I feel like we have a couple experts that might be able to help them. Right? right? Like, like, I feel like we know how to open these. Yeah. <laughs> the, the booths are still setting up, right? So you're going to see a lot of crates, a lot of packaging, a lot of plastic wrap. But as we get into CES, this is again day zero. So there's a lot of setup happening, but there's also a lot of things that you all want to know like, what are the big trends that are coming up here? And, I think there's two letters or two words that we can't avoid. It could um, AI. Oh, there you go. Little artificial little intelligence. There. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's a nice touch. So with artificial intelligence, right? How are our lives going to be made easier? And I think it's showing consumers that AI doesn't have to be something to be afraid of. Yeah. Ways that it can improve your life, make things easier, and give us time back in our day so we don't have to worry about these mundane things that, you know, the computer can worry about. I think it's a good point because when AI first came out, everyone was kind of, you were either like really freaked out about it or really excited about it. And the truth is, it is still figuring out where it lays, but it, it's always kind of somewhere in the middle. It's just how it's being used, whether it's, you know, offering us suggestions for maybe food or, you know, health wise, how can that optimize what we do? So AI is not only going to be involved in that way, but let's just say systems of how these larger companies at a greater scale are working and operating from the small micro to the large macro. Uh, AI is going to be everywhere here at CES. And it's just making things more efficient. And you were talking about health. Health AI mm. is also something that I'm absolutely obsessed with, like AI trainers and the AI that's built into our wearables that's able to give us this feedback in real time of things that we need to do to improve our health, which brings us to health tech, which I cannot wait to see what they have this year. I'm obsessed with tracking my data, and I think it's really cool because now there's so much innovation going into telehealth that this is allowing people to take their health into their own hands and at home. Yeah, one of the really cool parts on the show floor here is you've got to explore digital health. Uh, there's a massive section, everything from sleep tech to biometrics to um, you know mental health. There's so many different ways that companies are approaching digital health. It's one of the most fascinating areas here at CS and obviously for the future. I'm so obsessed and one of the things that I love so much is being able to take that ownership of our health mm -hmm. into our own hands, knowing your baseline normal, your heart rate, your blood pressure, these simple things that we should know that if you ever have to go to the hospital, like you will have all of that information and know what your normal is. I mean, we're wearing things that are giving us that data as like as quickly as possible. We're not relying on anyone else, but we can at least start to get trends again when you talk about AI and all these, all these things are tying together. These AI helps pull this data and then gives us recommendations how we can move forward. So we're wearing them, we're doing it. We've got them all on. And the other thing that I'm so excited about oh, there's is- There's plenty. Oh, there's so many things, but smart home yes. tech. Every year I see something that I'm like, I can't wait until that actually comes out so that I can integrate it into my home. Yeah, with smart homes, we've, we've really seen this space. Smart homes and internet of things have been a big thing for I feel like at least five or six years. It's been a while. And the big thing now is we're trying to start and see all these different companies that were doing their own thing really kind of get onto a single platform with Matter and just be able to talk to each other, make things more efficient. I think a lot of times we've been around this tech space for so long, we're getting to the point where the tech is so good, it's not about how is this being more efficient for our lives. So it's iterations of what we've seen, but now talking to each other, you know, everything from our microwave to our faucet to our laundry machine, this is happening right now and you can then see that stuff on your TV. I mean, we're here right now smart homes. And it's amazing to get all of this stuff that's like integrated and you know using your TV as your hub to be able to control your laundry to see what is in your refrigerator <laughs> all of these things and it's so amazing just to see it year after year get better and the accessibility is just there for for everyone like you don't have to hire a company now to set up your smart home. Yeah. You can do it in a few hours over the weekend which is amazing. And when all this innovation here we talk about these big ideas these big trends I'll tell you the place where it all starts is at Eureka Park, right? This is where our 1,200 plus startups from different countries, um, from all over the world, you're gonna see things like even nuggets of ideas in products that end up becoming big things down the road. Um, at Eureka Park, they're even divided by country. So you see these trends of how other other countries think differently than we do in America. So I think that is also another fascinating part of Eureka Park. And if you wanna look for innovation, 
That's where you gotta go. I mean, it is the future of tech. It's there. It's the people that are with these small little teams mm -hmm. trying to solve the problems. And it's amazing because they are so small that they're actually taking feedback from consumers. And they're like, well, what do you think of this? What would you like to see? And then you might see that implemented into the next year. And they might actually be on the big show floor. Yeah, yeah. Which I is mean, so fun. We've seen companies like GoPro yep. literally start as a little desk booth and look at where they are now. So this is the evolution of how a company can grow from right here, right to micro to macro. That's a great example. And then I think there's some one thing that you and I are really, like vehicle tech has always been huge, but uh, let's talk about electric vehicles. Maybe something that you and I are a little familiar with right so, now? So, okay, so this is wild because <laughs> I've been super into like EVs, EV tech, car tech, everything. But I saw the Rivian truck here many years ago. 2020. It was, was it 2020? 2020? Yeah, it wow. Okay. And we weren't even sure if that was actually ever going to come out, and it looked so cool. And I remember filming a video, and I was so hyped about it. And now, um, you know, four years later, we both have Rivians. Now. I mean, we we both got them, and we're like we're geeking out about it. But it is amazing. And the fact that the Rivian was here, and now we have them. <laughs> I mean, that's just a testament to to what happens here at CES. So here, we told you some of these trends that are really popping and hot. There's gonna be plenty more. I think that one of the cool things at CS is the discovery. There's gonna be new trends that come up that we haven't even thought about yet. And you just go around, search the floor, come hang out with us. So if there's anything you want us to check out here at CES, be sure to send us a note and we will do the best that we can. Yeah, there's so much to see here on the show floor. We're gonna be all around it. We're gonna be talking directly to you. And remember, use the hashtag CES2024. It's 2024 already. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Look Whoa. at this. Professional unboxers. I think we're kind of experts at this. Yeah. This is easy peasy. Should we go see if any of the booths need help? Okay, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Okay.